Now, back with us today is our resident dog trainer, Kelly McFarlane, and vet Alex Melrose is back from holiday. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. So yeah. where'd you go? Uh, I went over to Noosa and uh, did a bit of surfing. Oh, it's a yeah. horrible life you I live. Know. I missed you guys. I'm sure you yeah. did. Where's the presents? Um, the duty free. Next week, I I'm still waiting. Yeah, they're in the car, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now we've like got a, we've got a question today um, from. Well, it's actually a cry for help from our Holly. How do I stop my cats from waking me in the early hours of the morning when they just want food or just affection? They scratch on the French doors, bang the wardrobe door persistently, or I get a full-on purr and a head-nudging attack. Cute, but not at 3 a.m. Hell! Thanks, Holly. So, Alex, wow. what do you reckon? It's definitely a cry for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for the cats as well. Yeah. Um, so, Kelly and I were having a chat uh, earlier about some ideas we had, and... Um, I guess, Kelly, do you want to lead off on this? Yeah, so um, for a lot of cats, they are uh, what we call grazers. So they like to graze throughout a 24-hour period with eating. Okay. And certainly if um, Holly has been reinforcing the behaviour, so if the cats have come along and then she's managed to get out of bed at 3am or give her cats some food or a cuddle, then that behaviour is working for the cat. So we, um, when we were laughing, uh, we first said, why does Holly uh, complain? Because she works in TV, so she should be up early anyway. Well, exactly. <laughs> she's got to be here <laughs> practically 5 o'clock in the morning anyway. Exactly. And... Uh, um, but secondly, what you can get is also get an actual um, self-feeder on a, and they're, they're on timers. And so, so many hours they'll pop open and feed your cat. So you shouldn't just leave a whole big bowl of food throughout the day. Is that not going to work? Some cats you can, but... Um. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Some cats you can. A lot of cats, if they, especially if they come from rescue situations, they will really gorge themselves. They won't sort of regulate how much they eat. So, so a self-regulating feed is pretty cool. And you could set it to trigger, you know, at five to five. Mm -hmm. So the cat gets up, Holly's cat gets up, doesn't have to get Holly out of bed to, to get some service. Okay. I hope that helps you, Holly. Does it help you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the thing is that I've maybe made a rod for my own back, is what you're saying, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah. 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 And, That's and, what we're saying. Yeah, that is what yeah. we're saying. And I do understand that too, because I sometimes feel like I'm that cat and I just want to gorge myself too with food. <laughs> Understandable. Now, so what, you've been off on holiday, Alex. Yeah. You have been doing, doing something far more worthy than that, haven't you, <laughs> Kelly? Yes, yes. You've been involved with the, the Animal Welfare Act consultation. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so um, there's been numerous meetings throughout New Zealand and it's um, hosted by the Ministry for Primary of Industry. Okay. And what they're doing is looking at bringing in new regulations for the Animal Welfare Act and they wanted people's opinions um, and that's throughout New Zealand and so obviously I went along and had to give my opinion. And I am sure your opinions were quite strong on some things? <laughs> on, on some things, yeah. You were telling me there's a prong collar, what is that exactly? Yeah, so they're looking at banning prong collars and, and hopefully they do, uh, but it's basically like a choker chain but it has spikes on it. And so okay. it actually goes into it pinches the dog's neck. Oh, um, that sounds to try and awful. Stop it from you know kind of. So it's a way of correcting the dog if it's pulling on the leash. And um, yeah, hopefully they do go ahead and, and ban them, especially that, as we know now. That sounds awful. Um, mm. Well, it's great that you've been doing something so worthy. I hope you enjoyed your holiday, Alex. I did. I did. <laughs> Actually, Presents are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. Now, if you have a question for Kelly or for Alex, go onto our Facebook page now, as both Kelly and Alex are here for the next 30 minutes. We've just told them that now <laughs> to answer those questions. And now for the Cafe Pet of the Week. I love this bit. This is Dakara the Husky with Bugsy the Rabbit. Aww. And we have got a $50 voucher from Canine Natural Dog Food out to your parents. Aww. Look at that. That's great. I love the animal pictures on our Facebook page. Now you can enter at home, simply upload your pet photo to our Facebook page.